This episode of Fleet Equipment's On the Road is brought to you by Wix Filters. Visit wixfilters.com for more information and enjoy the show. So, hey Jason, are you sure you know where you're going? I think Dean's right. I don't recognize this at all. Nah, don't worry about it. This is a shortcut. By now, you've probably heard about the new heavy-duty engine oil categories that will replace the CJ4 oils come December 1st. The first category, API CK4, will be compatible with all engines and offer increased efficiency over the old CJ4 category. The new category, API FA4, offers additional efficiency gains in 2017 model year engines, but the question of backwards compatibility remains. For clarity on the categories, I visited with Lubrizol's Paul Baser and Andy Young, who outlined the top three things fleet managers need to know about the new engine oil categories. So let's kick things off with number one. So when it comes to specific backward compatibility of the FA4 oils to older engine, that will have to be determined by OEMs. Mm-hmm. OEMs are currently doing a lot of field testing and other the evaluation mm-hmm. for the purpose of deciding the how it can be backward compatible, which specific model here, those details they're working on it. Uh, in general, since OEMs drove the need for FA4 subcategory for the fuel economy. Mm. We expect there be a, some sort of backward compatibility to be established to the older engines as well. Okay. I think um, in general, what we're seeing as we approach the December 1st launch date for these new oils, um, there's more and more data accumulating. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think what's most important for the OEMs is what they see in their vehicles on the road. Mm-hmm. And those miles are continuously accumulating. Uh, folks like us, others in the industry, our customers are all accumulating mileage mm-hmm. along with the engine builders themselves. And over time, that storehouse of knowledge will start to build up a better understanding of how far back these oils can go. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we're pretty optimistic that uh, these oils will actually have some backward compatibility. It's going to depend on the OEMs to make the decision as to how far back they can go. The trade-off is going to be you're, you're going to protect the engine with a CK4 oil because CK4 oils are going to be fully compatible and replacing the current CJ4 oils, okay. even in newer engines. Okay. But what you'll be sacrificing is you won't get that extra half to 1% of fuel economy benefit. Right. You'll be giving that up. Right. So the question is how do you balance the logistics issue of getting the right oil in the right engine with the economic issue of saving the fuel. Right. That's the balance that that fleets will have to deal with. Right. I urge everybody to pay attention to their owner's manuals and what the manuals are actually recommending in terms of what vintage of vehicles they have and what oils are recommended in Mm -hmm. them. Second then layer is for them to use their OEM and authorized dealership Uh, contacts to make those decisions as well. All that information will be communicated from the engine builders down through their workshops and their dealership. Mm -hmm. Uh, Beyond that then is there's going to be a significant education process going on. The American Petroleum Institute uh, and folks like Lubrizol will be spending a lot of time putting information out to the industry in general, the fleets, but the industry in general as to what the recommended oils are. For more on the new engine oil categories and the catch up on all our past episodes, head over to feontheroad.com.